Hello and welcome to the SALT YouTube channel. My name is Gaz and as you can tell by the title of this video, today I want to talk about loneliness. When you clicked on this video, I'm assuming the reason that you clicked on it is because at the moment you're feeling quite lonely. And I just want to say like straight off the bat, I get it, okay? I know how it feels, even if you're not physically alone. There's that deep sense of loneliness that we feel. I just want to say that there is no such thing as a bad emotion or a good emotion. Every single emotion is a valid feeling. Every emotion has the right and deserves to be felt to the full extent. Loneliness is just another emotion and it's not necessarily negative or positive. You need to experience it and allow that emotion to run through your system because suppressing any emotion is unhealthy. If you feel lonely, that's okay. It's not a bad thing that you feel lonely. Everybody feels lonely. So you're not alone in that, ironically. The first thing we need to understand when we talk about this subject is actually knowing like what loneliness is. And I'm sure we all know that feeling. It's feeling so unseen and not appreciated or not validated by people that we care about. At school, I was fairly popular in the sense that everybody knew me, I knew everyone, but I never had a group of friends that would like invite me out. And although I was friends with lots of people, I still felt a deep sense of abandonment and loneliness. And some people I've spoken to, they, they you know, they have all these friends and these friendship groups and loads of followers and all these different things and it just it just it doesn't fulfill that that need for acceptance and love i think a really important aspect of developing that emotional maturity that we need to actually combat this feeling is understanding the the process of basically finding that trigger point that initiates that feeling of loneliness and then acknowledging the feeling and then the last thing you need to do is now start finding those steps, those baby steps to start implementing into your life that will slowly start making you feel less lonely during seasons where there's just so much like trigger points, if that makes sense. Christmas, for example, there's like so many things that could trigger that emotional feeling of loneliness, like romantic films and seeing couples going on walks. There's like things like that for me where I watch a really cute film, like Love Actually or something. And I'm just like, I just want to have a relationship right now and I'm single and I'm lonely. And so that's a trigger point. And so, you know, I'm not gonna say don't watch any Love Actually because that would be a crime, but like acknowledge that some of those things that you experience during the season of Christmas are gonna trigger that feeling of loneliness. So you've got the trigger. The second thing, right, you've got to acknowledge that, okay? I feel lonely. Like, I want that, and I don't have it, and that makes me sad. And I acknowledge that emotion. I'm not gonna suppress that emotion. If you need to go for a good cry, if you don't like crying, give it a go, because you just feel so nice afterwards. I love a good cry. I cry all the time. It's just something I'm really, really passionate about. Now, what you gotta do is you gotta implement five things into your life. These five things are gonna help you experience less intense loneliness. Five things are exercise. So exercising is so important for your emotional health. I'm not telling you to go to the gym and get throw your money away into a gym. Just go for a walk. Start literally jogging on the spot. If you're reaching for the cookies, maybe do a little squat when you catch them from the cupboard or something, I don't know. Do some physical exercise, it's gonna increase your endorphins, it's gonna make you feel those serotonin little highs and you need that if you're feeling lonely. The second thing you gotta do, I don't know, this is gonna be difficult. You need to sleep more and you need to sleep longer. Going to bed earlier than 12 p.m. is a must. If your bedtime is 1 a.m., 2 a.m., I promise you, yeah, yeah, that's definitely a reason that you're feeling like this. Because that definitely was for me. The third thing that you want to start doing and implementing 
is a, the obvious one. And honestly, it probably should be the first one. Reading the Bible and your prayer life has to be an absolutely fundamental aspect of your life in general. But I know for me, praying and, and reading the Bible has just drastically improved my emotional health. He just is in control of everything, including your mental health. Trust God, put him first, pray about it. You need to be eating healthy. Diet is so important for your emotional health. You still will feel lonely, but it's not gonna be as difficult and it's not gonna be as intense. It doesn't even have to be that drastic, I know, it's Christmas. Go get your pigs in blankets, but just limit yourself to five, like don't go crazy, all right? Have three men's pies instead of six. The fifth thing is to try and foster really healthy relationships. This is what church is, right? This is what church is all about. It's family. If you're feeling lonely, reach out to your family. If you're feeling lonely, the best way to combat that is to surround yourself with people who care about you. The more you can do to reduce the intensity, the, the, the better you will feel. So try and do a small thing of these five things next week or during Christmas or in the new year or something. Salt is here for you. If you're feeling lonely, comment down below and we'll just, we'll just, we'll just reply back being like, what's up, bestie? Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really hope that it's helped a little bit in, in any way. If you wanna see more stuff about relationships and dating, go check out some of the other videos on our channel. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you love music, then go check out our Spotify playlists. Have a great Christmas. Signing out. <laughs>